is the biggest challenges for people who are trying to make healthy food choices? You know, I think, I think the biggest challenge is just if you can create a health haven at home. And then, it, and a lot of people are like, health haven at home? Yeah, a health haven at home. And if you have some of those tempting foods that have to be in the house because of other family members, or maybe you want to have it sometimes, but maybe not every day, if you can put those in another location, in the basement, in the garage, somewhere that you have to get a ladder to climb up onto to get it. But make your environment a health haven. You have the big fruit bowl on the kitchen countertop, you open up the fridge, there's where to cut veggies to go. If you do that challenge, and then you have your environment outside, right, at work. So your desk drawer, I mean, what do you have? So many people have candy on their desk. And I'm like, well, you know, you could put a fruit bowl there and they're like, well, I'd have to move my candy dish. Yeah, let's like, you can change up your environment. And when we start to realize that we can change up our environment, it will help us overcome that biggest hurdle because you will find it easier to do. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. And with exercise, finding people to work out with and signing up, just saying yes and go on, get that walking club going, that biking group, whatever, say yes to that group. So once your environment is more healthy from an exercise standpoint, your home is more uh, healthy and your work environment is more healthy. Let's face it, we live in an environment that's unhealthy. It is, it is hard to stay healthy in a culture that's anything but. From all our fast food and overly sweet food, uh, these, these two strategies, make it a health haven at home and at work, and sign up for something consistent for your exercise. Those two things will really turn things around for you.